off of the unit. It kind of looks like a little bit of a crab. And so this is my very first attempt at using a scroll saw. So, I mean, I would really plan this differently. I would plan how I'm cutting into these very vulnerable pieces, uh, such as this. I thought for sure I was going to break this guy off. I was, like, really sure. For starters, you can see that the grain of the wood is incorrect and makes it very vulnerable here. So this, this the, the grain is literally coming right across uh, this area here. Okay? And so this is very, very vulnerable. Obviously, you would want to take something like this and maybe glue it to something, right? Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll sand this up. Um, I, I wanted to do something like a dog or a cat, you know, something like that. Uh, but I couldn't readily find um, a pattern to download and print. I don't like wasting all my ink and printing. I just want to print lines and that type of thing. So little bit of research maybe you guys can leave your comments gals leave your comments on where you download your your templates or you know maybe you just draw them on there but um, so that was a pretty interesting first time experience you saw me use my scrolls off for the very first time okay and uh, I was a little bit nervous in there I, I didn't ever feel not safe on a scale of one to ten how safe that I feel ten being I felt really safe and one means I shouldn't even be using it I'd say I was right around a uh, uh, an eight where where I felt safe. I felt unsafe uh, going the other direction, maybe at a maybe like a, uh, a four uh, when it came to cutting out this little guy here. As a matter of fact, I I didn't make it round in the future. While it has a lot of stock, okay, I would cut this out first. You know, these are the things you learn as you're uh, learning how to use. Uh, a unit like this. It, the same thing sort of applies over here with uh, with a bandsaw. You learn to cut your vulnerable pieces out. I'll be very careful with that. All right. Well, <laughs> thanks for coming into the shop, basically, because in designs, I broke my uh, whatever you want to call it, broke myself in on using this unit. Um, so in the best world, you're going to want to definitely have dust collection. I don't see just but a little bit of dust here and there. Um, you, you saw me move the light out of the way because it was just ridiculously in my way. So, you know, I got plenty of light from my LED. Anyways, 1400 lumens shining down on me. So, I mean, maybe we'll use that in the future. Uh, this guy here, I would say it definitely helped because there was, when, when I moved it, you probably couldn't see it, but there was definitely dust gathering over here. Put it back, it blew the dust away. So this humble little unit here, all right, was enough to blow away. You will notice at some point I turned the uh, variable speed. I turned it down because there was too much vibrating. Not here on the table. I have to say, by the way, that putting 60 pounds of weight on the, the frame really minimized the shaking, if not sort of eliminated it for the most part. Without that weight on there, this guy was definitely shaking and I actually turned it on before I put this onto the stand and it was vibrating even more. So the, I hope you learned uh, something. Also, uh, there was a little bit of a whoopsies going on. This is also conveniently close. I accidentally flipped uh, uh, this on. Okay, I flipped it on when I was doing something. I'm like, whoa, that's not a good thing. <laughs> so, you know, I would appreciate a little bit of a lock mechanism in there and I think you know what I'm talking about some of the uh, switches have little locks that you can lock them down so all right enough talking hopefully you enjoyed this $199 this is what I got for my money and I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to uh, all I can do with this all right thanks for turning into Jesse Custom Designs I get to finish my meal